what's up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is coach coco and i love volleyball so much so my channel is full of the tips tricks hacks and anything you can ever need to know about volleyball and today i want to talk about how to set a volleyball in a game before the game routine now I have had the same routine for several years now. I had a routine when I was in high school, I had a routine when I played club, and I can tell you it is very effective. I did a lot of research looking at studies and all of that and how important it is to have routines before we do something to prepare us, especially athletes. Athletes have in-game routines prior to playing so that way they can get ready and it can get them in the right mindset to perform the best that they can. Can. Now I'm sure you have shown up to a game before and you did not feel like you were prepared, but I want to thank our sponsor of this video today, Bob and Brad, who I've worked with before and their air to massage gun. Now the one thing that I absolutely love about this massage gun is look how cute and little it is. It is the perfect size to fit in my volleyball bag. I love this carrying case to keep things all together. Look at all of the different nozzles that can target the different areas. I personally really, really like this bulbous nodule. It really helps that deep tissue integration, especially with my shoulder, because you guys know I have a prior shoulder injury. So I like using the massage gun in order to open up that shoulder prior to swinging, because you know, I've been swinging a lot lately. There are some cool things to know about the Air 2, but it is the first mini gun. And I love that it's mini because it does have a really long battery life. It really does help with five interchangeable heads and their silicon. It's really soft, the material, holding it on the outside and it fits right into the palm of your hand. I like opening up my shoulder, but I also like using it on the legs as well. I do have a couple of Bob and Brad massage guns already and I love them. I do like using them especially when I'm preparing for maybe pickleball or playing volleyball. However, this mini one can fit right in my bag and I think that's what sets it apart is the sizing of it. Now as I've gotten older, I really have been integrating the massage gun into my pre-volleyball routine. That way I can make sure to take care of my body the best way I can. You can see that it really does get that deep tissue depending on which nozzle you use. So make sure you check the link in the description for more information about the Air 2 from Bob and Brad. Thank you guys for sponsoring. Now Coco, why is it important to have a pre-volleyball routine? Why should I have a routine that I stick with before games so that way I can best prepare and feel like I'm really mentally ready? Well, the good thing is routines are great. You have a, probably a morning routine. You probably have a night routine. You're just not aware of it. Maybe when you're getting ready for school, you know you do the same thing in the same order. Routines are a wonderful way for you to be able to prepare yourself for something, especially if it's going to be challenging. I personally am a pretty regimented type of person in which I have a routine for a lot of different things. And when I stick with that routine, I see the best results. The same thing can happen with athletes. I'm sure you know that high level athletes practice routine. One thing that you can think about putting in your routine is a music playlist. Now I did a video a couple years ago talking about how important it is to have music as a part of your routine, but I really think you should really think about getting some music before you play volleyball. If you don't, there's, you know, there's two types of people, the people who have the over the ear headphones and they're sitting and they're listening to music before a game. And then there's some people who like to socialize and all of that. Either one is fine. The point is we want to be able to do something that we can do consistently throughout games. So that way when we do do our routine, it's something that does motivate us to get ready. So I personally do like listening to music. I typically listened to music more when I was in like high school and I was doing club in college where I felt like it was a more competitive nature. However, think about getting a playlist of high level, high fast beat music in order to get your heart rate up and really prepare you. Now, when you are picking music, you do want to make sure to do music that is a little bit more faster paced now unless that's not your vibe however we do want something that's going to increase your heart rate or motivate you and make you feel like you can perform so if you're thinking about music that's kind of on the softer or 
a little bit more sullen side. It may not motivate you to get up and moving, but think about something that's a little bit faster paced. So that way you do feel like you're about to do some physical exercise. It's important to remember that your music selections do have an influence on how you can perform. So just think about that when you're making a playlist. So you can make a volleyball playlist, try to listen to it consistently so that way each game you're listening to that playlist so it can motivate you to start warming up. Now, you guys have heard me over the years say this so many times about how important it is to be stretching before you get out there and start playing. Now, I, Coco, am guilty at some point in my life in which I, you know, I was just so excited to play. I just wanted to get out there, but perhaps I didn't stretch as deeply or as thoroughly as I should have. And can I say that I later felt the result of that? Yes. I do want you to start a stretch routine. Now I know that typically when you're warming up, you probably have the typical volleyball warm up routine. And if you haven't seen that video, I have made a video on the typical volleyball warm up routine, especially if you're new to playing. However, I think that you should think about some stretches that you personally will help you. My body is different than your body, your body is different than your teammate's body. So, you know, stretching different things is important especially in preventing injury. We want to be super safe when we are playing volleyball. So think about stretching different parts of your body as effectively as you can. So if you know that you have some really tight quadriceps, make sure you stretch those. Or if you know your shoulder is really tight because you've been playing a long time like myself, make sure you stretch that. It won't hurt. It really, really, really won't hurt. Because, you know, especially stretching after as well. So this can go for before and after. I mean, I know people who have an after volleyball stretch routine. So just think about the ways to best help yourself because, you know, you have to be your best advocate. You have to be the person to take care of you. This can be something like where the massage gun can come into handy. I know massage guns are very popular nowadays because they really do help open up that muscle and really help massage, especially when you're tight or, you know, you've been working out for a while especially y'all tournament people because you guys when you are in a tournament you're playing all day all night the next day you're super sore everything's creaking and squeak squeak so you know you want to make sure that you're taking care of your body the right way so developing a stretch routine get some stretches that you typically like to do think about yoga think about all of that kind of stuff just make sure you're choosing a couple that you can do consistently and when we're doing it in routine we want to do things in order or sequence things in a specific order. And when you are doing a routine, there is one thing you have to remember. There's an old saying out there that if you're early, you're on time. And if you're on time, you're late. Now I, Coco, try to be a timely person. You have to know yourself. If you know you're not a timely person, please start working on your time management. In order to have a routine, you have to have time to do the routine. If you show up late, of course you're gonna feel rushed. And if you feel rushed, then what are you gonna do? You're gonna have to take a deep breath. You're gonna have to be mindful. You might have to meditate a little bit. And that's what I'm saying. Meditation is another thing that you can think about adding to your routine, especially if you're somebody who is a little bit on the later side. This is something you might wanna think about. I want you to remember that you need to be on time in order to do this routine. So if you show up right when practice or right when the game is you know, about to start and you feel like you're being rushed, of course you're not gonna perform as well. Showing up early gives you time to do what you need to do ahead of time, listening to your music, um, using the massage gun, stretching, really getting it, socializing if you have to, getting some wall, doing some wall ball against the wall, um, you know, talking to the coach, just give yourself some extra time, especially if you're learning and you're trying to do a new routine. Now there are some different things. Uh, there's other parts of the routine, such as serve routines. If you have a serve routine, doing that a couple of times and rehearsing it and making sure that you are actually going to do it as effectively as you can. So just remember some of these things when you are developing a 
pre-game routine so that way you can best play the best that you can because you do not want to feel rushed. Now I know I've said the word routine so many times in this video, but I really hope that it does help you figure out a way to get a system for you. I, like I said before, I have a system for me, it works for me right now, and this means, this doesn't mean that it's something you have to do your entire volleyball career. It will change, you will change, you will grow, you will find some things that you like, you might see somebody else do something, you're like, mm, that's cool, I'm gonna add it. But the point is, we wanna develop a system that works for us, that helps us warm up the best way we can to be the best players that we can. So I hope you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Let's just take it slowly. Would you not take that and go? Say, but I'll pull with Jarrah. Go anywhere you want to. Underneath the pressure, I oh, sometimes wish I.